You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, my San Francisco 49ers beat the Green Bay Packers last night. I did pick the 49ers. John Matrix picked the 49ers. Uh, and it was a very ugly game on the frozen tundra, literally. Now, of course, the one thing we know, the narrative today would be Aaron Rodgers lost again. He is 0-4 against the 49ers. Um, I felt like it was a great matchup for the Niners. And uh, for full disclosure, fellow 49ers fans, be careful what you wish for. Jimmy Garoppolo is now 4-1 in the uh, playoffs. So, uh, I promise you, I assure you, Trey Lance would not have had us in that position last night. Uh, I understand that Jimmy throws some untimed interceptions. I think we can all acknowledge that. But he moves you up and down the field. And for the most part, he's pretty accurate. Actually, he's very accurate if you look at the statistics. And he puts you in a position to win. But that is not what this video is about. It's about the fact that the woke Twitter mob and the media is coming after Aaron Rodgers because somehow, some way, these idiots have decided that Aaron Rodgers' loss is tied to him being unvaccinated and his views about COVID-19. Now, we know that is the most ridiculous cockamamie bullshit correlation anybody could possibly draw but nonetheless you know these woke idiots are going to celebrate this loss and they are doing so all kinds of hashtags are trending on twitter most notably hashtag by aaron in other words goodbye aaron aaron Rodgers has come out and said he's going to wait to make a decision on what he's going to do uh, we've got a couple of articles, and we got the woke assholes on Twitter coming after Aaron. Hashtag buy Aaron. No vaccines, no wins. Good God. Loving that the Niners canceled Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> they canceled him, but it wasn't because of the vaccine. He is now available full-time to shoot up some horse dewarmer, drink his own piss, and shove bleach up his ass. Hashtag by Aaron. Good God. Oh, this is nuts. This is nuts. They're all over the place. I'm here for the new asshole y'all are tearing for Aaron Rodgers. He's going to probably need one after his next ivermectin treatment. Anyhow, by Aaron. Good God. Look at this asshole celebrating a moron. Wearing a mask in his car. Found a true hero, quote, keeping us all safe. Hashtag by Aaron. Hashtag by Aaron. Science owns you. Good God. Oh, by the way, they are also trying to get his ass kicked off a of state farm. Once again. At least it'll be easier for Aaron Rodgers to boycott the Super Bowl now. He can do his own research on how to do that. Hashtag by Aaron. Good Lord, it's nuts. The vaccines do nothing. Hashtag COVID it. Hashtag by Aaron. This is what got all this going. Some asshole named Red Zone tweeted this out. Anti-vaxxer Aaron Rodgers just lost to the San Francisco 49ers. Got eliminated from the NFL playoffs. Retweet if you think that is good riddance. Hashtag by Aaron. And immunize. That's it right there from the NFL playoffs. This is running rampant. It wasn't a total loss. Now he has more time to quote, do his own research. Hashtag by Aaron. This is absolutely crazy. Let's go Karen. Hashtag by Aaron. Then we got us a little we got us a little uh cartoon here. But you need to wear this per to protect your brain, Aaron. 
Joe Rogan said I didn't need one. A helmet or a brain? This is where we are at, folks. This is crazy. You are not a citizen of this world. If you think your freedom threatens the lives of others, it's reckless and irresponsible. Get vaccinated. Hashtag by Aaron. My God. At least this guy calls them out. The tolerant, loving, ex- inclusive left is showing their love again. Congratulations. You're the one of the few righties still left on Twitter. Now, Rogers can become the co-host of Joe Rogan's Fraudcast. Hashtag by Aaron. Aaron Rodgers was canceled by the woke mob. No, he was canceled by a team that just happened to be more clutch last night. Karma. Hashtag by Aaron. Uh, Oh, here's another one. Hashtag by Aaron. Rub it in, rub it in. Ivermecto. That's right. There's, yeah, a horse. You know what kills me about that, folks? is literally, oh, look at this guy, just here for the giggles, hashtag by Aaron, Black Lives Matter in his uh, Twitter handle. How come his jersey doesn't say 19? Hashtag COVID-19, hashtag by Aaron. This guy says, the good news is Aaron Rodgers can now wear his MAGA hat in public again. Now he's a failure too. Of course, he took a shot at Joe Biden. And they are eating this up. The leftists on Twitter are absolutely love it. You all must have already heard that long COVID causes choking. Hashtag by Aaron. There we go with another choking one with um, a cat choking up a hairball. That's nice. Hashtag by Aaron is trending because the Packers lost and the vaccine is God to leftists everywhere. Once again, congratulations for being one of the few righties still left. And sticking it out on Twitter. Hashtag by Aaron is cringy. Twitter is so petty and cringe. I agree. Here's another one. Hashtag by Aaron. Got the blues. Nothing a shot of bleach or horse dewarmer can't cure. Am I right? No, it sounds like you are left. Okay. And then we've got, look, we've got it coming from all over the place. New uh, Newsweek. While several commented on Rodgers' performance during the game, others teased the quarterback over his controversial remarks about COVID-19. Shannon Sharp. My God. Rodgers won't have to worry about being COVID-tested next week or people trying to silence him after this embarrassing loss. He'll disappear and silence himself. Happy for Kyle and the 49ers. My God. This guy. Got to do my own research on who I'm picking for the Super Bowl now. Of course, referring to Rogers talking about the fact that he's going to have to do his own research. And here we go again. Quote, I don't want to apologize for being myself. Rogers told Van Valkenberg, I just want to be myself. All good, and well and good. But after a playoff loss, Twitter was all about Rogers. As they say, freedom of speech does not immunize one from consequence. Aaron Rodgers is being silenced by a grand special team's conspiracy. Two straight Packers seasons ruined by Aaron Rodgers not getting a shot. Wow. Come on. This guy, Rush Limbaugh, Brett Bart Starr, Throw Rogan. Those the best I'll see. Period. Everybody stop making fun of Aaron Rodgers. He hates being needled. Wow. And they go on to talk about... Oh, here we go. Here's a good one. I bet if Aaron Rodgers put as much time into football as he did his own COVID-19 research, he would have won. Did Rodgers consult Joe Rogan on the game plan? When will Aaron Rodgers publish his COVID research? I think he has plenty of time now. My God. I mean, he is getting absolutely destroyed out there. Once again, I'm pretty sure we know getting a damn vaccine in his play in actual football games has nothing to do with each other. Nothing to do with his performance whatsoever. Look, it's unbelievable. The special teams for the 49ers actually showed up 
last night one of the worst special team squads in the NFL and stepped up and helped the Niners win that game and beat Aaron Rodgers. Yes, Aaron Rodgers has only one Super Bowl win, and the fact is you cannot put Aaron Rodgers up near that GOAT status with only one Super Bowl. But the idiots on Twitter, the idiots in the media like Shannon Sharp would lead you to believe that somehow, in some way, Aaron Rodgers losing is karma for not being vaxxed. Some of the stupidest assholes this planet has ever conceived. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Wow, Niners won. Peace, I'm out. Till next. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.